What's up everybody, E. Rivera, 94 million another action figure review, and this time we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Hasbro Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the Marvel's Vulture Flight Gear Build-A-Figure Wave. That's literally what it says up here, Build-A-Figure Marvel's Vulture Flight Gear, since the Build-A-Figure in this wave is the wings or the flight gear to this Vulture figure. And of course, we're looking at Vulture from the movie right now. So far, it looks pretty cool through the packaging. As you see, it's a little bit empty right here because, of course, there's no... I mean, well, actually, is there a Build-A-Figure? I guess I guess Vulture himself doesn't come with a Build-A-Figure. He's number seven. Oh, he comes with, oh, obviously, the pack that goes on his back. That's already on his back right there. Um, that's what he comes with. So, that's it. Here's the side of the packaging. We have a nice picture of Spider-Man in his suit from the movie. Then here's the back... You see the rest of the wave right here. Looks like we're going to have another Spider-Man figure. We got one in the Civil War 3 pack. This is going to be the one with the wings on his um, arms right there. Then we have the homemade suit. We have Moon Knight, Cosmic Spider-Man, Tombstone, Beetle, which looks really nice. And then, of course, Vulture that we're looking at right now. There is a read-up on the back. It says, A nefarious villain with his eyes set on ultimate technological dominance. Vulture suits up an enhanced suit that makes him nearly unstoppable. Alright, so there we have the main villain of the new Spider-Man reboot. Once again, this is what, the third reboot for Spider-Man. And it is Vulture. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that they've managed to, um, to have a different villain in every single reboot of Spider-Man. Or every single movie of Spider-Man, actually, to, to be exact. Anyways, here's Vulture. I really do like the design. It's it's not bad. It looks realistic, something that's believable. That, of course, you'd see in real life, and you're going to see in the movie. It's uh, it's very unique, and, and I like how they, how they pulled it off and how nice it looks. The clear plastic for the eyes looks very nice. We'll get into that as we get closer to the figure. Uh, let's look at the Build-A-Figure piece, and it is the backpack of the wings uh it's very nicely colored i like that the blue and the purple there uh very nice effect there it looks like it's some kind of jet maybe i don't know but you can see all the scope that, that went into all this so there you go and where you would attach everything so this would obviously go on this back right here so very interested to see when this is fully built it's going to be quite the display for this figure pretty excited to see it built and I don't know, who knows if they're going to continue on with gear as Build-A-Figures. I hope not, I really hope not, because I really like Build-A-Figures. So I hope this doesn't become a thing. Maybe only for this and that's it. But it looks like they kind of ran out of ideas for this movie wave and they just did the wings. Or... But I think it's mainly because the wings are so big and they wanted to make it to scale. That that's the only way they could have fit it in. The wave is to make it the build a figure. So he also does come with this clear plastic piece, and I believe this is a dis. Let me see. I think it's to display the wing. Yeah, it looks like you can put it here, and you can just display the wing on its own once it's built. So there's that. That's the only possible explanation that that display stand is for. So it fits perfectly right there. And I think once you have it built, you can display the wing separate from vulture so that's pretty cool so here we have a closer look at vulture and you can see the sculpt work that went into this figure especially on the head sculpt i love how they did this um you see the tubing right there on the sides the sculpt and then of course the clear transparent plastic over the eyes almost like he's wearing goggles or like a visor to a helmet so very cool you can see he's wearing a jacket all the scope going down very nice look at his feet like a bird I like it. I, I really do like it. I know there's people out there that don't like the uh, MCU figures and they only like the comic ones and that's cool. They did make a comic vulture in that two pack that's coming out for Walmart. I gotta get that one soon. But So there's that option if you don't want the MCU version and then there's this one if you do want the MCU version. So very nice. I like it. Very cool and I'm glad that they actually made the villain. I'm still upset that they never made Whiplash from Iron Man 2. That's a figure I really really wanted in Marvel Legends and just never got made. So I'm glad that they made uh vulture here so and also the destroyer from from the first thor movie never got made in marvel legends so that's another bummer i, f I feel at that point i feel like they were just avoiding the the enemies of movies all right so let's take a look at the articulation of the figure we have the head that goes left and right so good movement there it goes up very nicely and it goes down uh decent i think i can push it down more and there you go so that looks a lot better now it is on a ball jointed hinge, so we do have that movement. It is possible. It's a little bit stiff on mine, so maybe that's why. 
Um, then we have the arms going forward and back, in and out. There is a bicep swivel, double joint to the elbows right there. There is a swivel at the wrist and a hinge. There is an ab crunch on the torso that cracks like crazy. Waist swivel, legs go forward and back. They're on T joints, so they go in and out like this. Thigh swivel, double joint to knees right here. And then we have the feet that uh, go forward and back and they do pivot side to side as well. All right, and there you have it, guys. That concludes my review to Marvel Legends Hasbro 6-inch scale Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture action figure. This is going to be quite the figure once we have him completely built. Of course, I'm referring to the wings. Once we have them all put together, I think it's going to look so nice and I'm very excited to see it. And um, I, I really, really like the figure. They did a good job. They pulled it off. They did a nice... You know, nice job. The paint works there, the scopes there, and um, and I'm very curious to see the articulation on the wings once they're built. Uh, it looks like it is going to be heavily articulated, so that's also exciting. It's very cool. Uh, great work by Hasbro. I love that they um, that they're gonna make this to scale, and I I think the Vulture figure came out nicely. Uh, one of the big things I like is the head sculpt and how they uh made the look completely, and the paint apps look nice too as well. So. Very happy with this release. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.